Hello everybody. This is Rusty Nail. I want to show you this my couch. I got it. This is the back side of it. This is what I want to remove right here. This part here. See how far that sticks out? You got a little space right there that you got to jog through. And um, I got the couch tipped up because I want to remove that section right here. If I can show you right there all the way. I get rid of this and put this right up against that. This is one of my couch ideas. I had uh, a lot of y'all guys answer me. I had some good ones in there. And, um, you know, like cut this end here and then slide this whole unit um, down to the to the right. And, well, there's my heater. And I said, well, I can't do that because then I'll take away my vent. But I could oblong my vent back into here and then move this down. But I'm thinking, why should I do that if I can just cut that corner out that I showed you right there and then cut right down through here and then move this end over? Because otherwise I won't have to unbolt everything and move this whole thing over and cut this and it's going to make a, a big mess when I can just cut that one section right through here and that other part up there you know I got it upside down I'm looking at this heavy metal I tell you this metal um, what you're hearing is rain it's raining and lightning and thundering so I'm going to make this short but as you can see there's this metal has even broke this board here and it's heavy so I want to take all this metal out here and on this here and I want to take this seat out and I want to fix it to some 2 by 4s and some uh, wood framing a lot lighter than this thing and um, and then just shorten that up that that thing there sorry about that yeah, I want to keep this couch the same color and everything you know but um, step back here and I want to put this up against that in a separate piece and then have this part I can get this back down um, oh yeah and um, get this part on a piece of thick maybe three quarter inch plywood with brace underneath and attach this to it and then I can just pick that up, the bottom, get up underneath there where my stuff's at, and I don't have to worry about all this heavy stuff. I just, just grab it, pick it up, get what I need, and drop it back down. Or just pick the whole thing up and move it, and not have to move this whole unit, including this metal that weighs probably 100 pounds, and um, lighten the load and make me a pathway right through here so I don't have to jog. Because, see, you got that step right there and you know you got a little pathway i don't like that i don't know why they made it like that just a little pathway and you open like i said you open this up and then it's a straight shot just straight on through here and then back around and to the bedroom i've still yet to to fix my converter if i can get it zoomed in i've got to do that still got a little fan blowing on it i'll, I'll get tend to it when I can get to it, I guess. If that fan's out in it, I don't want it to overheat because it's keeping everything charged up right now. But, um, turn this thing around here. But I just wanted to say hello and uh, let you see what I'm fixing to do. That's my new project. Uh, don't cost a lot, hopefully. And yeah, just nails, wood screws, and some braces, and a few other things. Uh, but take out all this heavy metal and take out a little bit of that couch and make me a nice walkway. So that's uh, part of the project and I'm going to download this tonight so uh, you keep up with me. The next time you see it, it's going to be different. So um, we'll see you then. Keep your wheels rolling. Keep them on some dry road. And uh, I'll talk at you later.